Hello everybody and welcome to the box of tinkering and here we are tinkering in a box and today I'm going to show you a full tutorial on my sugarcane farm from vanilla extreme extackable edition now <clears throat> the first thing you'll notice is that it is not extremely ridiculous per layer it doesn't have like a bajillion sugar canes or anything. However, that does make it very agile, very compact, easy to put into places. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to build a square. That is what this shape is. That is seven by seven. I believe that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven by seven so that the inside edges measure Five. One, two, three, four, five. So after you build your seven by seven square, on the three middle pieces of dirt, you're going to place sugar cane and your water source. Now, once everything else is done, you're going to want to put in some walling blocks on the side like this to prevent the sugar cane from bouncing over into those areas too much. Just a forewarning for you, something to think about. But after you do that, Really, it just becomes a matter of redstone. Now, I'll show you this little mechanism here. It starts with this one torch. On top of this one torch, we have a block. On top of that block, there is a torch. And on top of that torch, there is another block. Right next to that block, there are pieces of redstone on other dirt blocks. And then those pieces of redstone are next to sticky pistons with a redstone block. A block over from that redstone block is a piece of redstone on top of a block, and then directly next to that piece of redstone is a piece of dirt. And you just replicate that on the other side for the other piece of redstone from this tower. And what you'll see, the effect of that here, is when you flip this lever, this redstone, le this redstone torch on the inside will turn on, which will power this block which will power this redstone, which will power this piston, which will push out this redstone block, which will power this and this piston. This redstone signal will go into this block, which will power this piston. And the same will happen over here. Now it's perfectly stackable because this torch and this torch are the same, essentially. So what that means is you would take this these three blocks and all of this stuff that's in these three blocks and you'd stack it on top of that torch and you'd have a perfectly tileable design that you could make as tall as you wanted and then you would just have to repeat this simple little configuration here on the other corner now here in the center you can obviously just do something very simple you can put a piece of water in each corner which will push all of the sugar cane into the center here. Then at the center you can simply put down a hopper and those hoppers can carry your resources to whichever chest you choose. So here we go. Uh, this is a complete tutorial on the sugar cane farm I built for vanilla. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Toodles!